Hello friends, welcome to CAD CAM Station and today in this video tutorial, I am giving you another tutorial of wooden joint and these two joints are going to be the bridle joint and haunched mortise and tenon joint. So this tutorial I am making for beginners. So make sure you watch this video till the end because this video is going to be very informative. So without wasting any time, let's get started so now the first thing what we need to do is to as usual go to sketch select the plane and click ok hit r on your keyboard and select the uh, type of a rectangle you want to start with i'm gonna start with center point rectangle so basically we are going to create the cross section of the wooden member okay so uh, the first uh, joint we are going to make is haunched mortise and tenon joint okay so uh, just roughly place the rectangle and now we are going to double click on this dimension and uh, enter the dimension equals to 30 millimeter all right and double click on this vertical dimension and uh, enter the dimension 50 millimeter and you can now exit the dimension window okay so the cross section is finished now we have to extrude this so click x on your keyboard or you can click over here this is uh, called extrude okay so now click on over here and uh, the length of this extrusion is going to be 100 so type in 100 and click ok like this so this is the wooden joint now we have to make cuts on it to do that again we're gonna click on sketch and click on the surface and click ok so here from the side view uh, this is going to be the tenon part so we are assuming that this is tenon part so we are going to make cut according to that so click on rectangle uh, select two point rectangle start from this point and drag roughly over over here drag it upwards and a little bit over here so the depth of this cut is going to be double click on it is going to be 10 millimeter like this okay so the length is going to be 35 millimeter and now you can extrude cut it so extrude change the direction uh, up in the end selection you can select until next make sure your boolean, boolean operation is set to subtract and then click ok Control w and hide these sketches like this now from the top surface from over here I'm gonna click on sketch and click OK so here I'm gonna create two rectangles select rectangle or hit R on your keyboard start from over here like this again do one more thing over here so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the more and make symmetric select the line so make sure your arrows are pointing in the same direction for the symmetry center is z so now you can click over here and you can drag it and you can see that these are symmetric on both the side double click on this dimension and you can enter the value 10 millimeter and uh, as far as the length you can drag it outwards and double click on this and enter 50 like this now you can exit the dimension now click on extrude change the direction and uh, we know that this is 50 you can enter 50 like this your boolean operation set to subtract you can click ok Control plus w and hide the sketches so this is what we called is tenon for haunched mortise and tenon joint 
now is the time to create the modize part so that part is going to be very easy all you have to do is to select this surface close to sec uh, go to sketch and then select the surface click ok now what you have to do is to simply click on this rectangle two point rectangle drag it like this roughly now hit c on your keyboard and make sure your constraint is set to coincident select it select this point and this rectangles point so they are coincident drag it out double click on it and enter the value 50 so now what we're going to do is we are going to extrude this change the direction you can extend it up to whatever the height you want for example 100 like this so far so good make sure your boolean operation is set to none and click ok Control plus w and hide the sketch in order to make the cut let me show you what i am talking about like this in order to make cut inside this we are going to use the command under the menu insert and uh, combine and then subtract select the target tool so this is going to be the target and this is going to be the tool so make sure you're set on keep tools and then you can click on ok now let me just hide this for you guys to sh make sure that we have the perfect cut inside of it so this is what we have over here all right now let me just show it again so this is what we call is haunched mortise and tenon joint so now is the time to show you how to create t brittle joint using an extra so let's jump into it so now we are inside the drawing area once again you can click on sketch for t brittle joint highlight the plane and click on ok so again we are going to start with the rectangle uh, center point rectangle draw the cross section like this roughly and uh, this time this is going to be 30 again and uh, this cross section double click on it this is going to be 45 all right and exit now we can extrude it whatever the height you want you can extrude it so for example we are going to extrude it up to 100 okay so let me just do one more thing uh, i'm going to extrude it symmetrically so i'm gonna enter 50 so the overall height is going to be 100 okay 50 plus downwards 50 equals to 100 so this is what how you can extrude symmetrically so control plus w and hide this sketch so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this face hit on sketch select the face and click ok now select the rectangle and uh, make sure you have two point rectangle start from this point to this point okay go to more make symmetric and select the two lines and then the middle okay so far so good now is the time to make the dimension which is going to be 45 and exit now you can extrude this cross section change the direction and you can enter whatever the height you want we need 100 like this all right now boolean operation uh, i have set to none then you can click on ok so what i'm going to do here is uh, i'm going to select this face click on sketch and this face and click ok so the reason is i'm going to make a cut here by using a rectangle let me just do this and uh, double click on this dimension and uh, enter the dimension 10 millimeter or uh, the dimension okay so enter the value 10 millimeter go to more make sketch 
select the two parallel lines and then the central axis okay now what we're gonna do is we are going to extrude cut it all right so simply extrude change the direction enter the value equals to 45 which is equals to the length or the height of this make sure your boolean operation is set to subtract all right so highlight the uh, body part okay and in which you want to make a cut then you can click on okay all right so Control w and hide the sketch so as you can see let me just hide this part for you now as you can see we have cut over here but but we need to make cut on this one as well and how we're we gonna do that just the process is similar we done before go to combine go to subtract select your target body this is our target body in which we want to make cut and this is the tool which has the shape of our cut make sure you're on keep tools then you can click on ok so this is what we actually want as a result or you can say that we are good to go with this t bridle joint so guys let me show you what we have learned from today's video tutorial the first thing is we have learned that how to create haunched mortise and tenon joint so this part over here let me just highlight it for you the highlighted part is called the tenon okay and uh, this another red part is called the mortise okay so on the other side we have this okay so this is t brittle joint so this is how you can create it i hope you guys find this video tutorial very helpful and uh, if you find this video tutorial very informative then make sure you leave a like and write down a comment below into the comment section and let me know what you want to see in the future video also don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon and stay safe stay tuned stay connected keep watching cat cam station signing out for now